Hey Mila This is Mila's third day with us Welcome to the Stevens family Her full name is Milena Veronica Stevens She was born on Friday 25th of August 2023 Her weight was 2 kilograms 9 grams Almost 3 kilograms and She was born at 2.55 p.m. in St. Anne's Regional Hospital St. Anne's Bay, Jamaica Welcome to the world, Jamaican Russian princess Mommy, Daddy and your two brothers We love you so much Milky baby Ooh, 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 ooh. It, you want to eat? Somebody wants to eat. Somebody wants to eat. This is a milky baby. I'm gonna take you up now. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, mommy. It's coming for you. Mila, Mila. Hey, Mila. Лео, кто это? Это Мила, да? Правильно, это Мила. Мила, твоя сестренка? Твоя сестер? Ну, guys, house nowadays is very busy. It's a busy house. Yeah? What happened? Yeah? And what? She's crying. Ah! I'm making myself some tea because I ran out of coffee. I'm making myself some English breakfast black tea. It has a lot of caffeine as well because I need some energy. And I have, I don't have uh, coffee right now. I ran out of coffee. I drink all the coffee. Because trust me, it's not that easy to take care of a newborn baby when you don't really have. Uh, Help, like Errol helps me still, but Errol got work, Errol got job, okay? So, it's me and newborn baby, and uh, as well, sometimes I can take care of my two boys because they're not fully, fully uh, independent, okay? So, I have to help them with something sometimes, and it's a rush it's a great rush trust me guys running from one child to another but maybe it will help me to lose my weight faster <laughs> i still have four kilograms to go the great thing the great thing about my labor i did not get no uh tear yeah so my post period of recovery recovering me recovering from uh, giving birth it is easy it was easy and i'm almost more or less recovered i can say yeah i am i feel good when it comes to my health thanks god it's amazing my labor was so easy yeah just the sleepless nights I can't even call it sleepless nights because I wake up uh, maybe three four times just to breastfeed I don't have to stay up all night with a newborn baby because you know some some people newborn kids they stay up all night my newborn baby she does not really stay up all night when it's um, nine o'clock she goes to sleep she goes to sleep and uh, she only makes some little noise she only makes little noise when she wants breast. So um, the bassinet is right by my side. So as soon as she starts fuss, I can hear her very clear. And I wake up. Yep, and I just give her breast. And that's it. So she, she sucks breast and she goes back to sleep. So yeah, but, but I still have having I'm still having broken sleep if you can call it so but during daytime I try my best to go sleep with her 
let me not do a lot of stuff like laundry uh dishes and right now me i don't cook right now yeah we we have one takeaway please that is the thing yeah what happened here yeah? yeah that is the thing we order food right now my kitchen really opens yeah but sometimes i still cook uh, i cook sometimes still when i have time but it's very confusing when you cook i have to take care of the babies and you have to watch the stove so me prefer the soda for now oh there it's not a big deal right so yeah the food is good and right now uh, it's 10 30 already i'm in a no breakfast yet yeah so the day kind of broken as well and when i feel hungry i just eat i mean i really follow no breakfast no dinner nothing yeah some strong black tea in my system will help me to fight my tiredness because right now i'm kind of tired i don't know i'm not really tired but i'm not so tired but something in me <laughs> hey Milakos! Mila! Hey! Mila, привет! Привет! Hi! Hey Milakos! Hey man! Hmm? What did you say? Leo? Ah! Oh. Okay, it's catastrophic, sir. Not shake, so I don't say. Uh, how them say when they make movements? Not shake the baby. You can shake the baby rock. rock. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> rocks. The chair rocks. The baby, but I don't really like the position. It's still, I don't think it's very nice position for newborn kids. So. I was kind of saving it for after one month, but then I said like it's helpful because it rocks the baby and on the pockets written from zero to six months, so why not? And there I was like, Swaggy, stop saving things, stop saving things, utilize everything as much as you can. And that's true. I see the bassinet, my bassinet, she is so comfortable. Oh, sorry, they are in it yeah some people say like it's only probably gonna last for three months because yeah the baby's growing fast pretty fast so after uh, i don't want to sleep with her because she sleeps fine by herself and that's very good uh so i'm gonna look for sleep and play yeah i will definitely buy her sleep and play i'm gonna take her now she's afraid of it you will take her be careful yeah, support her back. Support her head. I think she wants to sleep, so I'm gonna give her breath and try to put her to sleep. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Huh? Yeah. She likes to feel cuddled. She likes to sit in your hands. She likes to lay on you. Yeah. It's a loving baby. <laughs> I washed her, like, I mean, I cleaned her eyes and I gave her morning to go wash. Yeah. It's always something. Newborn eyes. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take her now. I see. Uh, I see, I see you doing. Trying to do too many things at one time. Yeah, guys, so it's been a while. <laughs> so since Mila born. Oh gosh, they're all under we all right so now it's better so it's been three weeks since um, my daughter was born and i just decided to post something 
because I was feeling like <laughs> I needed a break. I needed a break. So I took time. I took break. I was sleeping first days as much as I could. Uh, yeah, and I didn't do nothing much. I was just sleeping, taking care of the baby, sleeping. Uh, yeah, trying to save my energy. Because I was expecting her to be a no, not really a good night sleeper, but um, as soon as nine o'clock uh, comes, she goes, she goes to sleep. I mean, that's amazing, that's amazing, and let it be so. Now, oh, guys, as well, I wanted to show you this little thing saved me a lot of energy because I have electric breast pump. But this little thing works just fine. The thing is that it goes only on one breast, which is amazing because I don't want to pump two breasts in one time. Um, yeah, so it saved me a lot of time. It saved me a lot of energy. So you just can s stick it to your breast and it squeeze out breast milk. Um, yeah. I know how to spell it, but I don't know how to pronounce it. H-A-A-K-A-A. -A -A -A. Yeah. I, I love this little thing. It's always here, but I don't really need to pump much right now. Uh, I don't really need to pump much right now, because Millie's already three weeks old, so she can handle breasts pretty good. Yeah, but first days, I need it. But I have electric breast pump as well. Uh, that I saved from my previous pregnancy. Yeah, five years, me did I save it, but <laughs> not this, but the electric one. Yeah, the Medela one. They're pretty expensive and they're good. Yes, they're good, but this is a great option as well. And it is literally uh, doesn't cost a lot. It came mm, with uh, one breastfeeding kit. Uh, yeah, and I literally bought it, um, not me bought, but I put it on baby registry. I received it as a gift, to the breastfeeding kit. Thank you, thank you to the person who purchased that for me. Yeah, and um, it was under $50 and uh, this was in the kit with a lot of things like breast pads, uh, cooling pads for breasts. Yeah, so literally uh, not expensive at all. So if you cannot... Uh, afford breast pumps because breast pumps good breast pumps can be expensive you can try this one i am highly recommend it to you because anyway first days girl you gotta pump you gotta pump uh, or you might end up in hospital this is serious you know don't take it for a joke have your little breast pump or this little silicone thing yeah game changer uh Number one, daddy. I really rocked me to sleep. So she's sleeping. I have my little time. Um, I have my little time to make breakfast. I eat it really quick, quick, quick. Cause in the daytime, sometimes she sleeps uh, 20 minutes and then she wakes up. Uh, and it can last for the whole day, right? No. I mean, she can sleep one time a day good after after lunch or at five o'clock sometimes. She has solid sleep only one time for now during daytime. So other sleeps are kind of broken sleeps. But I Google it uh, said like 20 minutes for them is enough to feel well rested as well for newborns. But 20 minutes is not really enough for me to enjoy miracle free time <laughs> you know what i'm saying here yeah, 20 minutes i can just run do one thing at a time like do laundry boom she is awake then i do something like you know i eat then boom she is awake so i take it step by step as well but i kinda always on the move and I don't waste my time, you know, because time is so limited in the daytime. And I don't want to do no things in the nighttime. Listen, no nighttime things. Nighttime, I'm sleeping. When the baby is having her solid sleep, I'm having my solid sleep. So I don't mind not sleeping during daytime, but 
Sometimes I need that rest too. So for now, she just sleeps 20 minutes most of the times in the daytime. Like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, sometimes 10 minutes. So I'm like, uh, well gone. And then I give her breast, I give her breast. She sucks a lot of breast during daytime, like a lot, a lot, a lot. But I don't mind, so I don't have to pump. Okay, I don't have to pump. <laughs> That's a big plus because pumping takes time as well. Mm, I don't freeze my milk, I don't do nothing. I just prefer to give her my fresh milk out of my breast, straight out of my breast. Yeah, and that's it. But during daytime, my breasts, my two breasts, them empty. Well, empty. Well, empty. I can't even say dried out. I have to drink as much water as I can so I don't feel really, um, I'm really, really exhausted because uh, it can, uh, it can, it can do it to you. Uh, yeah, but in the night time, I kind of worry because she sucks only three or four times per night. So in the night time, I always have over full, full over full breasts. But I stop pump at night because I don't want to have a lot, a lot of milk so she can manage. I may have to pump and pump and pump. So I want her to have enough uh, milk. The yeah, the milk she can suck out on the breast. Yeah, I would have give you a little advice to slow down with the breast pumping after two weeks before you have to pump. I got end up in a problem. Yeah. So I'm going to have my breakfast now because I feel like if I'm not going to have it now, I'm not going to have breakfast today because it's almost 11 o'clock already, 10.30, 10.30, I'm going to even start, I'm going to look in at the picture, so, yeah, so it's not even, uh, well, I'm going to have breakfast now, we probably not going to have breakfast, a straight lunch, maybe, yeah, what's up, Mia? What's up, Leo? Do you like to have Mila, Leo? The Lubish Mila. Oh, Leo is so proud to have sister. He can't stop talk about Mila. He said, Mila loves mommy, and Mila loves daddy. Mila loves Leo and me. Mila loves Ronaldo. Mila loves everybody. Yeah? And you're a big brother now? At that is the next proud moment for Leo. He's a big brother and he calls Ronaldo. Uh, how you call Ronaldo, Leo? What do you say? Um, Leo is a big uh, brother and Ronaldo is a small big brother. <laughs> or second big brother. <laughs> That's so funny. And the baby sister. Yeah, to, your, to, to, to the baby sister, yeah. You guys are big brothers to your sister. So as well, we... Uh, move bird on the veranda yeah cherry lives outside right now because uh, she has a lot of oh uh, wait let me flip the camera yeah because cherry she has a lot of fluff flying uh, from her she releases a lot of fluff look of feathers look of fine feathers and yeah, I'm kind of afraid of those uh, stuff flying in little baby nose and suffocate the baby ear. So, as well, uh, the bird releases a lot of dust. Very dusty bird. So, well, every bird uh, just constantly produce dust on the top of dust, feathers on the top of feathers. So you can find fluff to fly around the place like it's a winter time. Yeah. So we had to replace No we had so we had to we had to move Cherry outside. Yeah man. So Cherry are right outside. She loves outside even more because she can make noise with some other birds. She not mind Next 15 oh. minutes from when I rock put her to sleep. 
So I had to breastfeed and eat with one hand, but without fork. Yeah, I just with my hand made it I eat. <laughs> because I was so hungry, I said we can't just stay up. So without breakfast next two hours, I had to eat and you know, I fried my egg already. So it was survival moment. <laughs> Being a newborn mommy, yeah, you have to find ways how to make your life not so complicated. Yes, but as a mommy, you can be hungry and take care of newborn baby because you have to start getting miserable pan newborn baby. Oh, shh. you want more breast? Sounds like you want more breast, though. I'm going to change your diaper. Yeah, you change your diaper now. Yes, so mommy always has to be happy when it comes to taking care of newborn. That's why, that's why I'll tell it again in another video. Anyway, like it's, it's, it, it became a character, <laughs> we'll let it be. Yeah, so the thing I wanted to say that as a newborn mommy, you always have to be in the good mood because. Um, you have to take care of the newborn baby and they are very complicated. Some of them cry even if you feed them. Uh, some of them can cry from tiredness because they're tired and they want to sleep. Some of them cry because a lot of reasons, a lot of reasons. So you have to always be like, you know, hush, you know, nice mommy. And when you're not eating at night, you know, you're miserable. So make sure you always get your food upon time. If you can cook, make sure somebody can cook for you or you can um, deliver food to your door so you don't become a wolf, you know? Because without food, eh, impossible. Without food, trust me. Is it chakra again? All right, may I go change her? Yeah, may I go change her right now? Let's see, maybe she'll cry because I died full. Alright, so let's just smell away it really quick because she's fussy. So after breakfast, I'm still, well, after breakfast, I'm still 58.30. Alright, I'm gonna feed you. Wait, just, let's just, I'm almost 62. So I'm at minus. So right now, I'm breastfeeding. Breastfeeding Mila, so she come down and let me tell you something during daytime she sucks breast very regular. It's like regular is not the word the word to describe how it is regular. Every 10-20 minutes, sometimes one, two times. But I'm sure I have enough milk, you know. I have enough milk. She has a good appetite yeah and she sleeps not really good in the daytime she definitely a night sleeper i don't lie sometimes i feel like not now going to my breast by the time she's done i feel like a desert left yeah so what i do i drink tea but that's my normal thing i love tea so I'm in a mind, not like I'm force myself. I do not force myself to eat nothing when I hold no diet. But just now, I ate a Snickers and Snickers full of peanuts in it. First time I'm eating peanuts. Yeah, because before I was like, all right, she newborn. So I, I, I was afraid to give her allergy. So I stayed far from peanut butter them something that contains peanuts uh, let's see if she's not gonna have allergy because i heard a lot of babies mm, they are allergic to nuts so i just go hope and pray because trust me today i had a really bad craving to eat one snicker bar snickers bar i'm said to myself china star me really for it me really for it you know you really feel yum it like that was a wild craving so I ate it but let's see right now but other than that other than I avoided peanuts for first three weeks I did not avoid nothing really 
I had grape and I heard grape uh, can't give newborn kids gas oh, but I had it nothing happened like listen I even had I can't selfish honestly I think second day I come out of the hospital I had I can't selfish and then somebody said on a subscriber said you're not supposed to eat I can't selfish which may understand and probably worry about uh, I can be po poisonous poisonous here because some Aki, if you don't cook them proper, can poison you. They might poison you and your baby because they got, you know, transfer through breast milk as well. So, I understand that. Um, and as well, people said to me, do not eat uh, dragon, a dragon fruit. And a dragon, yeah, man, jackfruit, jackfruit. I ate jackfruit too. And I ate it so fast like one bag gone in a minute i was just craving jackfruit as well i didn't know that you can't eat jackfruit or uh, when you breastfeed well about this i don't know the reason why people do not recommend uh, breastfeeding moms to not eat jackfruit because for me jackfruit is a normal regular fruit so i don't know why people had problems with it here yeah. and i had like burgers I had french fries you're not on no diet man yeah we had a lot Miller experienced a lot of things already in our breast milk from uh, from barbecues in a <laughs> yeah I even had barbecues in a I think third day <gasps> yeah come couldn't cook nothing I was so hungry, I was on starvation, so I sent Errol to KFC. Errol came back with KFC. And I had a uh, burger, but because you know, it's nice. It was nice, it was nice. And I hope she enjoyed it too. <laughs> yeah. Come on, so right now, I'm burping Mila, but she burped already though. She burped already. That's a good sign. That's how girls walk, right? That's how they walk around the house. And Mila likes to, well, I don't know if, if she can now, by now, see things clear. I don't think so. Uh, Cause I'm saying you're born and they can, first weeks, them can only see like black and white. Um, ooh, you act really good. Yeah, ooh, ooh. Mommy has to wipe down. Oh, somebody puke. Somebody puke on mommy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's warm. <laughs> So Mila is laying down and she's looking at the ceiling fan. I don't know if she sees it. I'm not sure if she sees it, but mm, she, she likes to look around. She likes to look around. She just do that and she keep, it keeps her occupied. Sometimes she looks at the ceiling fan, sometimes on the bed. I don't know if a color she'll look at. She's probably looking at colors. So, all right. So some people ask me about my experience of giving birth in Jamaica in uh, I gave birth in St. Anne's uh, Regional Hospital St. Anne's, Anne's Regional Hospital yeah gave birth with private doctor yeah that means I, I had to pay uh, for doctor labor uh, and uh, for anesthesia epidural and one thing I can say that was the best uh, labor out uh, of three of them you're not gonna let me talk all right so i'm gonna try to tell you quick quick epidural was amazing the doctor didn't think didn't work good so i did not um, felt much pain after i um, opened four uh, fingers yeah because they inject uh, epidural 
uh, when you open only when you start open like four fingers them start yeah yeah but before I kind of had the uh, I, I had a pain I couldn't open yeah but I was going through those contractions and yeah she made it smooth she made it quick I got my epidural um yeah and I gave birth and I don't know what but maybe I'm not feeling so tired because I gave birth uh 255 uh, p.m. Mila 250 p.m. Mila was born so it's literally after lunch after lunch time I'm at two previous births uh, I gave birth like in the night or early in the morning like five o'clock in the morning three I think in the night so I was feeling super super exhausted after yeah maybe that played a role that I gave birth in the daytime oh yeah oh 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 I know you want probably sleep yeah so I feel so good my doctors they were amazing and trust me, I do not regret paying to the doctor, paying to the anesthesiologist. Uh, yeah, I'm going um, in a private thing because when you don't pay money, it's rough and tough. Plus tax, let me tell you something. Uh, yeah, when you go give birth for free, um, don't expect much things, okay? Just rough it off, deal with it and come out because there is no <laughs> there is no love if you go through um, the free facility like well, the free if you give birth for free yeah I mean I really want to talk about it you know like I want to forget <laughs> some moments like a nightmare but uh, I've seen a lot of things <laughs> one night and I've seen a lot of things going on but what me want to say what me want to say I want to say something I forgot you know my brain just thinned out after giving birth after tiredness and a broken sleep yeah what me want to say yeah oh I wanted to tell you guys as well that I couldn't give birth for free 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 in Jamaica because I don't hold Jamaican passport so they even charge me for a bed in the maternity ward uh, when I just arrived and I was waiting uh, to give birth I had to stay on the public maternity ward uh, and it's free for Jamaican uh, passport holders once you have passport it's free so it's completely free for <coughs> people with Jamaican passport for women with Jamaican passport but I was charged I think Carol told me like for one night them charged me oh she I'm not come like 2000 Jamaican and two five or something something around that so me even if me, I want to give birth for free me couldn't couldn't do it all right maybe they are calling me some of a cut and this is right now <laughs> time number four i'm breastfeeding her within hour yeah so it goes that's how it goes in the daytime she'll run it hard she'll run it dry yeah so what i wanted to say yeah so i couldn't couldn't give birth for free for free in jamaica even if i wanted we still had to pay for some things okay they build me still I mean, I have no Jamaican passport. All right. Yeah. So if you are a foreign woman, if you are a foreign woman, make sure you not go give birth empty pocket. Make sure you have money. If you are, you, you and trust me, uh, if your country is well uh, industrialized with health care, you better stay a yard. Yeah. Because it was so hot on maternity uh, ward and when first time i heard you have to take fun with you i was like nah you're really oddy i said to to myself like people probably would be with taking fun but when i came there i saw that 
I should really take fun with me because it was so darn hot but in the night the rain was falling so I wasn't really struggling and uh, they um, put me on a bed the nearby window so the window was open and the breeze was blowing through it so in the night time I was perfectly all right just because of the weather it was a thunderstorm weather and rainy but in the morning let me tell you in the morning when i woke up i opened my eyes sun hot you know sun hot me a sweat and women who never had no fun they my ball trust me and almost every other woman upon a ward they had fun their own fun that they would set up right in front of them as a nice pin it you know them nice shape to nobody you know straight on them okay yeah yeah so they had one big big huge fan i think but at the entrance so not not really a blow yeah not, not really not blow to his side yeah so i had to call errol i had to call my husband i asked him to buy fan and bring it to the hospital so I had my fun but <laughs> by the time I'm rich with the fun my doctor told me like swaggy let's go let's do something about you because you already staying here for a night and you said you start experience contraction from the year before so let's do something about it let's jump on the topic and deal with it here yeah, so I went to the labor yeah and the next thing I mean, I understand. Them pass me with the food chili and they never even offer me no food. Yeah, I was so hungry. I had to call Errol too. And I had to tell him to bring me some box food. Nobody na pass with the food chili. Me. But I saw like women, they had porridge and everything and tea. Nothing for me. Like, I was feeling like I kind of ghost there. I mean like nobody really paid attention um, other than the doctor mm, yeah and uh, the, 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 the nurse she worked with her so she checked me in but other than that nobody didn't really check on me but I don't know if I if if I something because I went through the private doctor so mm, nobody really like busy about me um, or that's how it goes but I'm just glad I I had my doctor. Hey, when I pushed baby, I did not feel no pain at all. That's how good my epidural worked. And I was expecting uh, labor to be like solid labor like before. Uh, the labor I went through with my two previous kids. But it was a, I was like, by the time I'm done, I was like, that's it. I lie. I'm ready for the next one <laughs> a joke no make error hear that okay honestly guys me not lie I would I would love to I would love to try St. Andrew's uh, private hospital maternity hospital just to see what's the difference I know there, there is a huge difference I know but I would love to experience that. So maybe next three, four years. Yeah, depends on. You see, I saw my chat because my labor was uh, without pain and seemed to me like a joke. <laughs> yeah. Alright, guys. So I'm gonna go back on mommy duty. I hope you liked the video. Enjoyed it. Um, yeah yeah i made it i made it bye bye